Well guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to add a weather system to your girl attack fan game. I'm probably the first person to actually make a tutorial on this. So it's a very useful tutor tutorial. It's cool. Um, yeah. So the link to the Discord um, where the scripts are is in the description. And scroll down to scripts and totes and go to weather system. The script will be there. Um, and download the script and import it to your girl attack fan game. I mean, you you really or yeah. Um, then all you want to do is we'll make a map or wherever you want to have the weather system. This is just a top floor. I do have a map and everything. It's just I don't want to show it so that I don't actually do a whole sneak peek just in one video of my game. But yeah. Um, so first you want to actually like um, make a particle system for like the, like let's say the weather. So let's say we're going to make it rain. So uh, to make one, uh, I'm going to do a particle system. Right? Um, so I have this, but since I can't be bothered really um, doing this, this whole particle system thing, um, I will uh, just use one of my particle systems, which I'm already using. I might make a, another tutorial on how to actually make rain for uh, with particle system, but yeah, let me quickly get my rain. Alright, so I got my um, particle system for my forest, well, my rain basically, as you can see. Um, yep, just these. Um, I might make another tutorial as I said, but um, you want to make a, like an empty game object with the weather system, another game empty game object with the script, another game object with the rain, of course, and inside this rain is um, and also add photon view and photon transform view, so it's um you know, uh, server sided so that other people can see it when you can see it. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Uh, it's optional and then your particle system uh, yep and then you got your rain sound so just download maybe one from youtube or whatever um, i already have one of mine don't make it too loud so that you can hear hear over people of course um, and yeah that's really all and then for the script just add the script and it should be called weather system so whatever object is going to be like this whole thing so uh, with the photon view so this uh, empty game object with the particle system and rain sound so you just drag it into here a activation interval so basically that's uh, these are gonna change um, um and like what it means so the activation interval is basically when it actually turns on so at first it does turn on at the at the start i might edit the script so it doesn't but um yeah uh, so this is when it starts, so uh, it's in seconds by the way, so uh, just put it as uh, how, however you want, so I'm going to just put, uh, keep on 10. It's not, this is not my usual, I'm just doing this for a tutorial, it's probably going to be like, you know, 200 seconds or something. Uh, activation duration, so basically how long the rain will last, so I'm going to put this on 7 let's say, um, and yeah, so if you even just disable it, it won't really do anything anyways, so when you press play, just let it load. As you can see, it starts and then it disappears. And then for after like 10 seconds, because you said it's 10 seconds, it will re enable again for 7 seconds. Well, how may, however you put, as you can see. Yep. And by making this, you know, photon view and photon transform view, it will probably, I think, it will definitely make it, uh, you know, surf sided. That's all for the tutorial today, and I'll see you all guys later. Peace.